Hello, welcome back to Call Clutter Fairy, where I help you get clutter free so that you can live stress free. In my house, there seems to always be these rolls of wrapping paper and cellophane paper, and I never know what to do with it. So they get shoved in a closet in the back and are just kind of propped up, and then I forget about them. Or I get a trash can, and of course the trash can is always shaped like this, so inevitably it falls over. I came up with this weird tube thing, a PVC tube thing, and I glued it to a plate, so it was kind of working. Um, it was kind of working. The problem is, is I can't fit everything in here and it's still kind of an eyesore. Um, so I saw a hack on Pinterest and I thought I would try it out. And that is using an over the door shoe storage. Now I know what you're thinking. Um, this isn't going to hold all of the wrapping paper and it may or may not, but I wanted to try it out. Um, because I come across clients all of the time that are trying to find a solution to organize this and keep it in a craft closet or a wrapping closet. And so this is what we're going to try today and we're going to see what we think. So this is just an over the door shoe organizer. I picked this up at Target. I think it was eight bucks. I know they sell these at the Dollar Tree, but because of the weight that's going into it, I wanted to get something that was a little bit heavier duty. Um, I didn't have time to shop at the thrift stores, and when I did go later, there are a ton of them there. So um, if you're on a budget and you have some time and you can be patient, I would definitely recommend getting a used one. But this one will match my room, which I'm excited about. So let's see how it works. So the Pinterest picture that I saw had slits at the bottom of each of the shoe holes and then the tubes just slide all of the way through. So the first thing I wanna do is lay out the shoe rack and see how long it really is compared to the length of my wrapping paper rolls because I would love to keep a couple of the tops loose uh, or empty for ribbon. Wow, this is really long, I'm impressed. So down here, let me show you. Down here at the bottom, it has this nice big pocket. Um, and I think I'd like to keep that open for spools of ribbon, um, some bows, some gift cards and things like that. This particular one has two bigger pockets for I'm assuming bigger shoes. This is where I'd like the base of all the papers to go so that it has more room. And then I'm gonna start slicing through just the bottom of these shoe sections to slide them in. And that way the, the length doesn't matter at the top. So here is my first roll of cellophane. I'm just using the first three to see how that lines up. I might vary the sizes. Now in my area I have a lot of this contact paper because I use it on my Cricut. Every time I see a solid color at the dollar store I grab it and this works just fine with my Cricut doing the stenciling. So that's a little hack for you. It's a really inexpensive way to do it so if you ever see these rolls of contact paper and it's a color that you like go for it. These I am probably not going to put in here. Um, I'm not really sure yet so I'm going to set these aside for right now. And I'm going to fast forward through the rest of this just so you're not seeing me go step by step. Really quick, I am using rubber bands on some of these little spools, but if you don't have a rubber band around, everybody has empty rolls of toilet paper. Slice it down and it is a perfect holder for your tubes of wrapping paper to stay closed and they can easily just pop off afterwards. You can also do this with a paper towel roll. Just cut it in half and make it the size you want. But these are awesome. They expand and will easily slide and keep your rolls closed. Here's another question for you. When you guys have scraps, do you roll them up and put them on the inside or do you keep them as a separate thing? I'm just curious. Leave me a comment below. So here's how I have it laid out so far. I've got the tall rolls all to the side and it looks like they are going to need two of the shoe sections cut and then they will rest in the bottom one. 
These middle range ones, it looks like I'll need to cut one shoe section. And then I did decide to put my contact papers in here because they are just way bigger than my Cricut vinyl rolls that I buy. If you have a Silhouette or a Cricut, they're super tiny. They're 12 inches compared to the transparency, the uh, contact paper rolls. So I've decided I wanna go ahead and keep these in the bigger section so that I remember where they're at, keep them together, and they don't get dog-eared. When I was keeping them in that tube, the bottoms, I didn't even realize this, were really getting beat up at the ends. So I'm gonna try this. So they will only need one. I won't even need to cut it. So I'm gonna keep the clears together. I'm gonna keep the colored ones together and I'm gonna keep the black that I use the most often together. So let me slice these up and I'll show you what it looks like as a finished result. So I've got the first pocket here. I made a snip and I, I'm not gonna use a knife because I don't wanna go through both sides. I am just carefully going along the bottom seam with my sewing scissors. And it's actually very easy to cut. And then it's got this little folded over edge. I am cutting backwards on that to expose the bottom so that this is a whole open area. Do you see that? And that way it's going to go through that shoe pocket and rest in the big bottom pocket. Because this is so long though, I do need that second section so that it doesn't flop out. So that's what I'm gonna cut right now. So hopefully you can see this. I'm just gonna make a cut in the first fold as close to the bottom seam as possible. Cutting it all the way through coming backwards on the fold of it. And then one last time so I get full access to that pocket. And now it's completely open. So now this big heavy tube is being supported by two shoe sections and resting in the bottom pocket. I think I'm gonna like this. These are just my tall wrapping papers. All right, I got three tubes in there. I could probably get a fourth one. Yeah, I could easily get a fourth one. Um, but I'm only putting my long tubes into this particular one, so I'm not gonna shove another one in there. So now I'm gonna do this section with my medium length rolls and then I will go into my little shorties. So this one I'm only gonna cut one section. So that's this one right here. And again, just going as close to that bottom seam as possible. Once I get past the fold, I'll just cut along the bottom seam. Come back and cut against the fold of it. It's just a little pleat so that you get the shoe to fit inside. All right, now it's fully open. And now my medium size can go inside. <gasps> yes, I think I like this. Yeah, that is pretty awesome, I like it. Now I'm sure if you have a ton of wrapping paper, this is gonna be problematic. So I got five rolls into this one and you can see there's still room in this section. So if I had a small scrap, at, I could probably just put it in at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm not too disappointed with this. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I do think that if you have those big giant rolls that you get from like Costco or Sam's Club, you're probably only gonna get one of those rolls into each one of these. But if you just have 
your normal everyday wrapping paper in one and maybe your holiday wrapping paper in another one, I think this would accommodate about 30 rolls per per shoe side. And you could back them up and or put them back to back and put them into a hall closet um, or hang them in your garage in the off season when you're not using it. And I, I think it would be pretty good. So I'm actually pleasantly surprised with, with how this is working. So let me just do the little contact papers and see how it works when you stand it up. I might opt to go ahead and cut it after all. And I still have this whole bottom section down here for the folded wrapping paper or for spools of my curly ribbon. I'm gonna use the top section that's still left over up here to put my scissors in and to put my tape in so that I can see it because this bottom section down here, I'm pretty sure if I can't see into it, I'm gonna lose my tape and my scissors. So I want those visible. So when I hang it up, I really like how it goes through and how it stays together. The one in a single pocket, that's not gonna work for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice here so that it goes all the way down. And I will have to reach into it because it is shorter than where the axis is, but I'll still be happier that they're standing up than flopping over. That'll drive me crazy. So give me one second while I slice that up and we'll take a look at the finished product. All right, I'm not hating this. I was able to go get my holiday wrap, which I did not have in that tube that I'd made previously. I was able to add my contact paper. I was able to add ribbon, gift bags, and tissue. And I also have, ooh, Domino saying hi. I also have my scissors and tape in here. So I'm gonna pick up the tripod, forgive me for just a second. So in here, I have the leftover areas. So I put my curling ribbon and I still have an empty packet over here. I have my little wand. I love these. It, it's like a corsage and the tape just pops up. They're single size. I find them at the Dollar Tree. I have my scissors. I can add other scissors in there if I want. And then here's the big long tubes as well as my shorter tubes. And then down here at the bottom, oh, I just bumped you, I'm so sorry. Down here at the bottom, I have my gift bags and I have my tissue paper. I think that was pretty awesome. Well, you guys that's all I have for today let me know what you thought about this hack you know I see great ideas all of the time on YouTube and on Pinterest and I always want to try them out before I make a suggestion so let me know what your thoughts are on this if you have a great system for organizing your gift wrap I would love to see it Anyway, if you did like this, please leave me a comment below. Like if you're new to the channel, welcome, and please click that subscribe button. I do try and post. I used to try weekly. If you do click the subscribe button, it will alert you when I do put up a new video. Anyway, I will see you guys very soon. Bye.